one, two, three, four. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Everybody. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Rock. Sip on and all me. Sip on and all me show. Hey, just so you dudes know, I'm the baddest dude in town. <laughs> All right, I'm glad, glad that's settled. No, you're not. That was a lame wow, ass thanks a lot, Chester. introduction. Hey, everybody, we're oh! still out. Whoa, what's that? Oh! Are you having another deja vu? Deja vu! This is like four or five a day you've been getting, man. That's insane. Dude. Hey, so do you remember me saying this? Dude, don't even do that. <laughs> do, you me, do you remember me saying this, though? Now it's time for our interview. Hey. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the interview part of the show. I'm Ollie. Hey, I'm Siffle. Okay. Yeah, we got a good interview for everyone today, and... Uh, what was I, that? What was what? Oh, that, that was... That's our show waiting. What's show waiting? It's when another show's coming through, and we can, we can click over and watch the other show. Why did it happen? Well, because there's another show beeping in right now. Did you order this or something? Yeah, I, I ordered it. It's great. So we can just... You're wasting just... all of our money on stupid stuff, dude. No. How, how are we supposed to know what show it is? Oh, I'm not wasting money because I didn't buy the show ID. That oh, was really great. expensive. So Just let me click it. over. Let me click. <coughs> <coughs> Welcome to Functions of the Family. Your 8,000 step plan to better living. And here's your self-help guru, Paul Rogers. Paul? Hello, this is Paul Rogers. Welcome to Functions of the Family! I ain't got a family! I ain't got any functions! Paul? Why are you doing this to me, Dale? Paul? It's time to tell our friends at home function number one. Why don't you tell our friends at home function number one? Function number one is always remember your family members' names. Yeah, especially if you need bailed out of a prison at four in the morning. Paul? First names are good. No! Paul? It's time for the second. <laughs> it's time for the second function in your 8,000 step plan. What's that? Always remember, love is best when it's a two way street. Remember that one, Paul? Yeah, I remember a three way street with your wife and the librarian girl. That's Paul. smooth loving. Paul? What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> You're fine. I quit. Finally! Fine! Call, 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 call through the public. Call, 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 call. In Benita Mahu, Graham Crack. That means, welcome, welcome to, to calls from the public. public. Kala Haba Huba, Mock. That means, caller, go ahead. Hey, yeah, this is Eddie from Jersey. <laughs> you guys are suckers. Yeah, Eddie, suck it to him, Eddie. <laughs> what? Hey, Siffle. Yeah? You're a rotten slouch back egg ass. Uh, you tell him, Eddie. You're, yeah, you're an egg ass. Yeah, you're an idiot. Do you guys, <laughs> do you guys uh, have anything better to do than uh, prank call? Yeah, I can prank call you ass again. Yeah. <laughs> Keep talking. I'm Eddie. Uh, I'm no. in trouble. Yeah. Do you know that we can see you, right? Hey, I ain't Eddie. <laughs> what, are you, what are you guys doing here? Uh, I, I gotta go. Yeah, you better go. We better take the next call. Uh, call our go ahead. Ollie, it's your mom. Hi, Mom. Hey, Mrs. O. Hi, Siffle. How you doing? Ollie. What? I, you left your jacket here, and I found a pack of cigarettes in the pocket. I was holding them for Siffle. Siffle would what? never do that. That's right. Smoking is a bad, disgusting habit. You hear that, viewers at home? Um, just throw them away. I don't care. I, I don't know whose they are. Then. I did throw them away. Oh. Mm, I can't believe you, dude. Well, uh, well, we gotta go, Mom. We're doing our show and everything, so... Yeah, thanks for calling, though. Yeah, okay. Bye, Siffle. Bye. Dude, you owe me a pack of smokes. Oh, man. What sultry artist mysteriously appeared to frontline soldiers during Desert Storm? I got a hot date tonight with a certain... Well, she's a vegetable, but I can really talk to her. You're unbelievable. Hey, I'm dating one of the four food groups, and that's better than what you've pulled <laughs> off recently. <laughs> I've dated uh, 
I guess I've dated things from the meat group. Yeah, well, the point is, is that I can really talk to her, and she, I mean, I, I look in her eyes, and I think. You see orange? Yeah. Dude, you're, I think you've lost it this ah, time. Ah, leave me alone. You're happy in love, at least. That's right. Carrots are my favorite vegetable, so I went to the farm just to propose to one. Saddam Hussein developed a chemical cloud in the shape of Janet Jackson to seduce soldiers out into the open. Is that really true? No. Yeah, I think ice was here uh, before man. How could ice be here before man? Man came from water, which is not, it has nothing to do with ice. No, it does. Okay, it does. Well, no, I think man invented ice, didn't he? I mean, there wasn't ice before refrigerator or freezers. Well, the ice age was man. Man came before the ice age, I think. No, was there ice age before man? Man thought, came before the ice age. I thought the ice age was like just a uh, a show, where there's skaters and stuff. No, that's that's the ice capades. Oh, that's weird. What were we talking these... about again? I don't know. Oh, you better it's time oh, for turn Precious the music turn the music off. Uh, Pre uh, Precious Roy is next. Um, hi, and welcome to the Precious Roy Home Shopping Network, where, where, where quality is like a stinking dead rat. You just can't miss it, folks. Precious Roy, let me tell you about it. Okay. Oh, the majestic Sasquatch. We've grown to love him. We've grown to love the mystery, but the pranks have to stop. If, you, if you're like me, folks, and you, you live in the city, you're tired of these Sasquatch games. The ding-dong ditching your house. The tapping on the window and showing their butts and running away. In the city, they don't have the trees. They can't hide in the city. Hey, let's, um, this is a great product. This is a great product. Let's just get to some phone calls on it. Um, Are you people even listening is what I wonder sometimes. OK, just cue up that first phone. Next call. Yeah, I run the uh, Bigfoot Club in downtown L.A. Oh, yeah, we know about that. Yeah, my customers come to the club, and they expect to see at least one Bigfoot, okay? But thanks to Precious Roy, everyone goes home with a Bigfoot story. Wow. Incredible, folks. Testimony, you're hearing it here, folks. Everyone has a Bigfoot story. The Precious Roy Sasquatch Feeder. Get it? Let's take another call. Yes, I'm a Bigfoot. And I have to tell your viewers, these things are tasty. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible, folks. A Bigfoot himself just told you how much he likes them. What more do you need? What more do you want to hear? Hey, hey, hey. Chill out. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Precious Roy, let's talk to him and find out what the scoop is. Precious Roy. This is Precious Roy. And the people at the bank call me Marty. Yeah, but Precious, what about the Sasquatch feeders? Buy my bird feeders. No, Precious Roy, they're Sasquatch. You guys are suckers. Precious Roy, Precious Roy, making lots of suckers out of girls and boys. Good evening, Serena, and viewing audience, this is the news. My name is Siffel, and I'll be your anchor tonight. Tonight we have an exciting story about Belgian waffles in no. the coast of... I'm going to do the news now. I brought in somebody. 
What the hell are you talking about? I got today we're gonna have extreme cooking with Aesop Jones. He's a friend of mine, and he's gonna give some wonderful recipes for around the house. What? It's like a it's like a home part of the show. Aesop. <gasps> what are you gonna make? This guy is stupid. No, he's really cool. Dude, just check that. Get, get him off. Can we get him off? No, I can't. I'm so embarrassed. Do you know what? Check this out. This is the best part. Do you know what? <laughs> Excellent. Donuts. Cool, Aesop. Rock. Okay. I'm sorry about that, Serena. I'm sorry about that viewing audience. Oh, this That's Serena all. stuff. Uh, yeah. Good night. Dude, and I have to get out of here. Really? I just. Can we just go get out of here today? Yeah, I'm what, sorry. What do you want to do, man? I don't care. Let's just drive somewhere. You just want to go take a drive? Yeah. Yeah, let's just take, let's take a road trip. Wait, well, how will we do calls from public? Oh, I got the car phone, man. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, let's, let's do go. that then. Let's All roll. Right. Cool. Hello there, and welcome, welcome to, to Calls from, from the Car phone, phone, where we take uh, calls from our car. Okay, okay this, this is, is going to be weird. Yeah, well, let's try it. Let's okay. See where, uh, caller, go ahead. This is your landlord. Yeah, I know. We can see you. Yeah, well, I'm getting complaints from the neighbors again. Don't, don't you freaks ever sleep? What? Man. Look, What's... the neighbors say you're building something. They can hear hammering and sawing all night long. No, we're not. What, what are you, you talking, talking about? about? You liar! What are you, what are you guys doing to my property? Nothing, nothing, man. Nothing. Nothing. There's a freaking windmill on the roof. Oh yeah, we oh, just yeah. needed to power something for a little while. Yeah. What? What the hell are you talking hey, about? Hey, listen, we're in our car phone. This is really expensive, so we gotta let you go. Okay? What? Call her. Go ahead. Yeah, I was wondering why? Why can't I taste anything? Um, have you tried using your mouth? Yeah. Uh, okay, thank you. Sure. No problem. Call her. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm a robot. Cool. And uh, here at the lab, the scientists have made a new baby robot. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's like everything is like the baby robot this, the baby robot mm -hmm. that. It's mm -hmm. it's like they don't know I'm on. So you're jealous. Mm -hmm. I yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Does this baby robot have a battery? Yeah, one little one. Well, just take it out. Hide it. Hide it. Yeah. Hide the battery. Well, I thought about that, but you know. I am fully equipped with lasers. I could burn this thing. I could I could blow this thing into a million pieces, you know what I'm saying? Why, why don't you just do that? You know, attack it. Attack the baby robot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, huh, well. Yeah, I mean, kick his ass. Kick the baby robot's ass. Kick his ass. Yeah, that's right. I could do it. Sure you can. Yeah, you're a robot. Yeah, I'm a robot. Go get him. Yeah. Right on. Okay, go, thanks. Yeah, go to okay. it. Here I go. That's what I love about robots. Yeah, yeah. You just, anything you tell them to do, they do. Well, well, I guess, I guess that's, that's it, folks, so we're, we're going to keep, keep on driving. driving. Hello there, everybody. We're going to talk to Chester now. Hey, man. <laughs> hey. Hey, we've been getting a lot of mail for you. Okay, I'll, and I'll get it. No, we've been receiving mail for you. Okay. And um, so we thought we'd read one of the questions somebody wrote in. Okay. So this first... Gee, you guys read my mail? Yeah. <laughs> so this first one is from Ben Clayton. <laughs> it's from Ben Clayton of okay, Tennessee. Is he, here? is he here? Let me talk to him about my no, mail. He sent, in a, he sent you a letter. Oh, okay. And he wanted to know what your dreams are like. Okay. What are your dreams like, Ben? No. Hey. He wants to know what your dreams are like. I'm flying. Flying. You dream that you're flying? Yeah. Well, if you could really fly in real life, where would you fly to? <laughs> Up to the ceiling. <laughs> yeah. That thing in the corner, it bugs me. I don't know what it is. It's up there, though. You would just go to the ceiling? Yeah. What would you do in your dreams, Ben? <laughs> How does the Pope get his daily dose of the Beastie Boys? Stay tuned for the answer. The Pope gets his dose of the Beastie Boys through his funny hat, or his mitre, that it's known as in the spiritual world. <laughs> uh, it's actually a solar-powered 50 CD changer with a built-in headphone system, and it was designed by Coolio, believe it or not. Huh. 
So by this time, it's 3 in the morning, and there's only two of us left. And we found two of the, of the hidden passageways, two of the mm-hmm. rotating doors. Mm-hmm. One was a bookcase. The third one ends up that it's in the oven. Yeah, in the oven. I've heard, I've heard of that before. Yeah, it's the back coil. You uh-huh. looks like a coil. You turn it, and then the, the door swings open. And then that takes you down into the lower tunnels. Wow. So this whole place was just filled with secret passageways. And you were the only two there? Yeah. We were there till about 5 in the morning. Just walking. I I've got, got blisters. Those tunnels go all over the city, don't they? Yeah. Oh, we've got we've to take an interview now, folks. Hi everybody, Ollie's driving, uh, we're in the car, and we're supposed to do an interview right now. Yeah, but we can't because we're in the car, what right. are we going to do? I don't know, let's just talk about something. Okay. I just like to drive, isn't this cool? This is alright. Dude, there's a hitchhiker, pull over, pull over. No, dude, that's illegal, uh, we'll go to jail. Who cares, man, just relax, pull over. This dude, look at him, Okay, man. I'll pull over, I'll yeah, stop the car, pull over we'll dude, just talk to him. dude, don't let him in because it's totally illegal. We can go to jail if he gets in this car, it's illegal. Okay, I won't, I won't let okay. him in at all. Alright. Uh, hey, dude, you guys going to Amsterdam? Yeah, dude, come on in. Get God in. No, don't. Crescent. Relax. How you doing, man? Oh, excellent. What's your name? Webby Appleton, dude. That's <laughs> ah, so cool, man. So you're going to Amsterdam, huh? Oh, yeah. Have you, have you been there before? You, sir, are illegal cargo. Therefore, I must place you under citizen's arrest. Quoi? Code 429 of the United States of America. Anything you do or say is good against it. Don't pay attention to that, man. Tide, dude. So Amsterdam is... Uh, there's a lot of partying going oh, on there. So. I'm going to clean up this city. I'm going to pick up another hitchhiker. I'm going to pick up all the hitchhikers, and I'm taking them all to jail. There's one. Sir, get in the get in the vehicle. I'm damn dang it. You talking to me? Yeah, come, hey, get on in. Come on in the car, man. <laughs> hey, yeah. Oh, y'all going to take me to Bakersfield? Sure, we're on our way there. Oh, man, so uh, what's, your, what's your name, man? My name is Chachi Longbow. Really? Kind of smell. You smell weird, dude. This guy made my clothes out of hay. Oh, yes. Mm. I thought I smelled that. Uh, so what do you do, man? He's he's doing time, sir. You under arrest, stature 25 of the United Code of the Union. You taking me to jail? Whoa. You're going. You're both going to jail. Hot dang damn dang! Oh. I would love to go to jail. They got Jerry Springer. You get cornbread every day. Clean sheets, clean clothes. It's really? a good deal. Yeah, come along with me, dude. All right. You, <laughs> You're both under arrest. Get out of the car. Yeah. Are we under these arrest guys, or you want us to get out of the car? Which one is it? I want to go to jail. I don't know. Get you're, these guys out of the car. You guys smell and you're they under smell. non-arrest, which means you're free to get out of the yeah, car get now. Out. Get out. Can I still go to jail with you, dude? Why, sure, cowboy. Come along with me. I was just about to turn myself in. Killed all my co-workers using only my thumbs. <laughs> okay. Okay. Out of the car. Yeah, get we'll out. S- we'll see you guys later. All right. See you, Slim. <laughs> later, dudes. I can't believe that. Yeah, well, you gotta admit, that was probably one of the coolest interviews we've ever had. I I know. You're right. It, it was. You're oh, right. Yeah, yeah You're it was. Right. Yeah, it was. Let's do it again. Rock. Well, we're still in the car, driving along. I don't know really where we are, but what, we don't know what we're gonna do for a song. Yeah, we do. Because, what? We're just gonna turn on the radio, dude. We, can we do that? Can yeah. We can do a song on the radio? Sure. Okay. Oh, this is a good song. This is perfect. This is excellent. Okay, let's do it. I don't mind you coming here Wasting all my time Time Cause when you're standing oh so near And all my time. 